in this session we are solving the first problem in ladder logic program before starting we are studying various timers used in ladder logic programs so there are three uh, timers we are used in ladder logic program one is t on otherwise known as on delay timer the second one is t off that is off delay timer the third one is tp and which is the pulse time so we will see one by one so what is on delay timer so as the name uh, suggests the on delay timer means there is a delay of switching on for this timer the timers are nothing but uh, these are also relays uh, but having some timer arrangement so uh, we can see that in this signal section we can see that it's working so when on delay timer if this is the signal electrical signal for uh, uh, which is fed to the on delay timer so uh, this is zero and this is one digitally speaking this is zero and this is one one means there is a supply of electricity to the on timer but since we can see that in the second line that is the uh, t on signal what is the signal in t on so whenever uh, the t on get a on signal from in this point this is the point one okay here it is the point one so at the point one it is actually uh, given an on signal but because of the delay set on the timer so that we can't set that is uh, that can be set by the uh, user so it may be 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds or like that okay so that time is delay is given so whatever may be the delay we have given that delay is affected in switching on this time so if it is 5 seconds then it will switch on only after 5 seconds after receiving the signal so that is the period this gap is the delay then it will be switched on and whenever it is getting switched off at this point 2 okay it will switch off instantly there is no delay in switch off of the time so that is the concept of on delay time so there is a we are providing a delay of few seconds when on a uh, few seconds for the switching on the time and on the other hand if we are going to the off delay timer so uh, as in the name suggests this delay is given to the off time not in the on time so here again this is zero this is one okay so this point is uh, one and this point is two so the signal is given clearly that at uh, switch on uh, there is a supply or uh, there is a signal so it has to be switching on and two there is cut uh, signal is cut again it is made it to zero that means there is a switching off but what is happening in t off t off is uh, we are actually giving an delay in off timing so on timing there is no delay at the very same instant it will be switched on but uh, whatever maybe we can set uh, an amount of uh, few seconds of delay maybe 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds as in the earlier case so that this delay is affected so whenever uh, the signal is switched off even after the signal is switched off the t of relay will contact the electricity or otherwise it will provide the supply it will switch on the supply for a particular delay time which is set on the timer so that is the uh, case of off delay timer and uh, the final one the pulse timer pulse timer is uh, entirely different and that means uh, this is signal is on this is here it is zero and this is one at the point one it is switching on at the point two it is switching off uh, but uh, whatever may be the signal uh, we will can uh, provide a pulse duration for the pulse timer so if it is also having five seconds uh, seven seconds uh, ten seconds like that okay so any number can be given uh, there will be a range from zero to a maximum quantity value so within that we can set uh, some time so for that time only that is conducted so there is actually providing a pulse it is uh, providing zero to one 
so whatever may be the uh, set time okay so it will be conducting to that time only so whatever may be the signal it is neglecting that signal it is taking that uh, on signal from here at point one then it will contact for the set time only so that is actually providing a pulse that's why it is known as pulse timer now here we are solving our first problem so problem is stated like this device circuit to device a circuit to start a motor and then after a delay of 100 seconds so this delay time etc are, are very important after a delay of 100 seconds that is after starting the motor some 100 seconds we need to wait to start a pump that is the first line of the problem then the second line tells that when the motor is switched off then there should be a delay of 10 seconds before the pump is switched off so after switching of the pump the motor uh, sorry the motor the pump should uh, work for further 10 seconds that is the logic we need to devise okay using the plc so i will uh, uh, actually the plc program uh, at the first time it may not be correct so using trial and error one or two figures you need to draw then finally we will uh, reach to our final uh, solution okay first we have to draw the vertical members of the data this is actually l1 and l2 but we are not marking l1 and l2 okay so then we have to provide the switches so first switch is provided so switch is given as uh, s1 okay then for switching off again we have to provide another switch that is a normally closed switch that is s2 and that will be connected to a, a relay here the relay is uh, named as r1 okay disconnected to a relay and uh, last class we studied about latching so here also we need latching because s1 is a push button switch so in order to uh, maintain uh, the r1 to be in uh, working condition we need a latching from r1 so we will provide a latch switch from r1 so this one is a switch this is not a relay and it is actually latched like this so whenever we are pushing the s1 the r1 get energized and because of the switch from the r1 it will be energized even after we are removing our hand from the s1 then from this r1 uh, we are taking another switch this is again r1 so from this uh, we are connecting this r1 to a motor because whenever uh, it is switched on the motor should run so a motor is connected from this r1 from this lead from the r1 we are connecting to the motor then again and whenever we are switching on the r1 from the same switch we are connecting an timer because we now need to start the pump after a delay of 100 seconds so we are actually using a on time on delay uh, on delay timer okay so this is named as t1 okay and its time is set to 100 seconds on delay is set to 100 seconds then we will take uh, a switch this is also a relay this t1 uh, is also a relay so uh, that relay also having switches so one switch we are taking that is t1 and that t1 is connected to another relay okay that is a t off that is off time delay that is another timer that is known as t2 and uh, its time is set to off delay is set to 10 seconds so whenever t1 is switched on this t off is get switched on then We are using a switch from T2 that is the off delay timer. So then it is connected to the pump. 
now this is our circuit okay then how we will see how this is working so when you are switching s1 what will happen this s1 will analyze r1 because r1 is analyzed the switch r1 is switched on then the flow will be like this so r1 will be switched on so r1 switch again here we are using r1 switch so this is conducting at the same instance this motor is switched on and here also the r1 is switched on here it is a delay time of 100 seconds so after 100 seconds this is switched on after 100 seconds so there is a delay then after 100 seconds what is happening this t1 is switching on at the same time this is an off time delay so whenever the t1 is on t2 is also on so this is also after 100 seconds so when t2 is on after 100 seconds at the same time after switching on the motor after 100 seconds t2 is on so this is on so that will actually on the pump so the pump is also starting after 100 seconds then what is happening in switching off switching off is affected by this normally closed circuit s2 so when it is opened what is happening this will de energize so r1 is switched off r1 switched off means this motor is also switched off okay then what is happening again this r1 is switched off means t1 is also switched off t1 switched off means this t1 is switched off okay t1 is switched off means t2 is also switched off but this is having a delay timing in switching off of 10 seconds so whenever this t1 is switched off after 10 second only 10 second only the t2 is switched off then the t2 is also switched off after 10 seconds so since t2 is controlling the pump the pump is also switched off after 10 seconds so that is the logic in this circuit i think uh, you understood uh, logic in the circuit and uh, the next class we will discuss about another problem thank you for watching